A new year and new hope for two sisters who were living on the streets. A young woman passing by made it her mission to get them a roof over their heads, at least temporarily. Well, CBS 2's Christine Lazar has that heartwarming story for you today. For the past five months, sisters Mary and Bridget Donovan lived on the streets of Hollywood. They slept here behind a bus stop on Franklin and Western. At nighttime, I used to listen to music to keep awoke because for three hours while my sister fell asleep because uh, I thought something was going to happen. The sisters say they were threatened, had trash thrown at them, and felt forgotten by society. I was losing hope. I began to not even feel real. I walked and walked and did the same thing every day. And then I began to begin to feel nothing. But just before she went completely numb, hope arrived in the form of a young woman named Jamie Blavelt. She was the nicest person I ever met. Blavelt lives with her husband, Chris, near the bus stop where the sisters were sleeping. One day, she stopped to talk to them. I just wanted to find out what their story was, I guess, how they ended up there. Blavelt found out the sisters lost their apartment last year when they were both unemployed. Soon she started bringing them food, clothing, and blankets. And then when the weather turned, she and her husband decided to use their own money to put the sisters into a hotel for a week over the holidays. Part of the money, we were going to take a trip, you know, but we got so involved with this and just wanted to help them. As that week came to an end, the couple decided to start a fundraising page to raise money to extend their stay. The response was overwhelming. We thought maybe we'd get them a couple extra nights of the hotel, and our, our limit was $500. Like, that was what we were hoping to get, and now it's almost $9,000. What no one wants to see is for the money to run out and for Bridget and Mary to have to move back here on the streets. So the couple have arranged for the sisters to talk to a social worker this week about more permanent housing. But they've been warned it could take weeks, maybe months, to locate something affordable and permanent. I guess I just don't want them to go back out on the street. So the couple is hoping the fundraising page will continue to grow. I'm really grateful. So Mary and Bridget never have to spend another night afraid to go to sleep. In Hollywood, Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News. Well, if you would like to help out for more information on how you can pitch in, go to our website at cbsla.com and click Scene on TV.